Greetings, Internets. Thanks for uh, joining me again in the shop today. It feels like the last month or so has been the month where just everything breaks down in the shop. I feel like this happens once or twice a year where just a bunch of stuff goes wrong. Most of it's been minor, so that's a plus, but one of those things uh, is this drill press here. Uh, this is actually from my neighbor friend of mine. It's an okay drill press, uh, and one of the things I upgraded uh, when I got this thing is I basically changed out both of these switches. Uh, one of these is the motor run switch. The other one uh, just turns on the little work light here. However, I realized the other day, you can see this little white bit sticking off. This uh, switch is broken. Basically, just the, the red plastic outside has snapped off and it no longer latches on, so you can't use the lamp. So what we're going to do today is replace it. Let's do it. All right, so here's the culprit right here. You can see that uh, this top switch, the red housing is still intact uh, and will turn on if I push the button. Uh, this lamp, however, the switch is just bone. So we're just going to have to pop off this little panel uh, and hopefully the new switches I bought will actually be uh, roughly the same size uh, as these switches and we'll just be able to swap it out All right, so one of the first things you want to do obviously when you're working on electrical stuff is Make sure you unplug it so you don't get the zappy zap uh, All right, so I just got these little How are we gonna do this? Uh, just these little replacement rocker switches. Uh, they are lighted uh, So I got two of these guys cool. There's some little instructiones on the back, so we'll have to make sense of this diagram. Uh, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Two screws, that's not too bad. We'll try not to lose them on the floor. Let's see what we got going on back here. Oh good, the wires are super tight. That's gonna be impossible for you guys to see. Oh, interesting. Well, unfortunately the wiring is different than these, uh, or in these switches than the ones I already got. So I may not bother hooking up the lamps. Mm, that's a little bit annoying. But the wires are super tight in here. Um, it's probably more hassle than it's worth to like try to trace back the wires and get that to work. Uh, in any case, let's just pull these fade connectors off. Yeah, so you can see here, this has got two prongs on it. This has got three prongs. I assume one of those lines is actually for the lamp. Uh, but what I'm going to do just go ahead and plug this one without mounting it and see if this thing actually works. So I'm just going to leave that open. I'm going to put the plug back in. Oh, it does light, but it is off when it's lit. And okay, so it doesn't run. So basically all I've managed to do is connect the light, not actually the motor. Let's unplug that again. And it really shouldn't matter which one of these leads we're using. Uh, all right, back in the wall. What? That is an unexpected result. Okay, well, there's only one more combination to try. What's going to happen now? Oh, yay, the switch works, but the lamp doesn't. Unfortunately, there's no super easy way to fix that without getting into this wiring harness. Uh, well, that's super annoying. All right, so unplug. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't forget that. Come on, over there. All right, we're gonna put the original switch back on. 
I guess I'm only going to replace the bottom one because it's the one that's broken. I mostly, right now, just need this thing to work. It's going to be kind of a hassle to get back out, but there are these little spring-loaded wings on here, and you basically just have to compress those. Uh, this switch was nice because the lamp is actually wired internally. You don't need a separate power leg to run it. Come on now. Oh, all right. Got part of it. Tempting to break it since I'm going to replace it. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Perfect. On the floor. That's where I wanted it. Hmm. I also don't know which way is on. I'm going to guess it's this way because the little lamp is over here. So I'm assuming when you push that side, it's illuminated. So this seems like... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Just slide these spade terminals back on. And we should at least have function restored, which would be handy dandy. Uh, there's really no point in having a lighted switch other than I like lighted switches. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Power to the motor. Yeah. Wait, and this switch isn't even lighting, which is weird because there are only two And I installed the lamp switch backwards relative to the motor switch, so I'm probably just going to pop that and do it again. But it does work, so that's a plus. I'm a little confused about why the other... Is it not an illuminated switch? This is the one I dropped on the floor. It does say lamp. It also seems to indicate that there would be three poles, so I think this is actually not illuminated. And now that I look at it, I don't see any light in there. Uh, and then you can see on the little wiring diagram here how the lamp should be on legs one and two, which is actually like my new switches, so I guess this just was not a lighted switch in the first place, so... That means I don't have to fix the first light? Or the second light on the one I'm putting in here? I don't know. Let's flip this around. I pretty much feel like anytime you've got a 50-50 choice about doing something the right way or the wrong way, I do it the wrong way. Oh, okay. Flip that around. All right. That should do it. All right. We will double check and make sure this thing works before I button her back up. Lamp, motor, good to go. Uh, this is one of my favorite little tools. It's actually a snap-on ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, and so you can switch directions. This little bit also comes out. Uh, and what's extra cool about this is there's actually another attachment that can go in there that's flexible. So it's good for those hard to reach places, but just snaps in and out like that. Yeah. Um, I do like ratcheting screwdrivers because it's easy to do this while the screw is loose. A nice ball bearing driver would also uh, provide similar results. Anyway, that's all there is to it. We're done here. I'm going to move on to repairing some other thing that's broken. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.